students who have been thinking about environmental issues, and that's the students we get, come to the workshop feeling nervous and anxious about the plight of the environment. And I know from, from evidence and testimony, they feel more positive by the end of the week. They don't feel like the issues are insurmountable. They feel like they're big obstacles, they're big challenges. But yes, they feel more optimistic about, about their uh, about the possibilities for good outcomes, even with climate change, which for most people is a very overwhelming, paralyzing issue. And one of the things we try to make people feel is that yes, it is an overwhelming, paralyzing issue, but if you just take some action towards making, towards working for a solution to that problem, you will feel more empowered. And if you feel more empowered, people you know will be inspired by you. And the more people that are empowered and inspired, the more likely we are to come to a school, particularly for high school students. And last year we had 14 students. We ran the program over to Amherst College and it ran for a week from nine to four roughly, wherein the students practiced, uh, well, they did research on environmental legislation, currently pending environmental legislation. They broke up into groups and they chose uh, an issue and they developed a strategy for um, advocating for the issue, uh, elected official, and pitched their, um, they were either for or against the bill in the State House. And we had uh, President Pro Tem of the Mass Senate, Stan Rosenberg, come, and Ellen Story, representative from Amherst, come, and meet with the students and listen to their lobbying efforts and then give them feedback. I think the most uh, exciting part of the week for the students was the public speaking uh, part where they had to develop a media pitch, a two or three minute media pitch, sit in front of a camera like this and talk intelligently and compellingly about their issue. And then they had to deliver that spiel to their to either Stan or Ellen. They all wanted to do more environmental action related activity in college and beyond. And they never wanted to stop being involved and engaged in um, environmentalist causes. They also realized a lot of what we taught, civic engagement or um, citizen advocacy, is transferable to any sort of cause. Well, I hope the students will gain confidence in their ability to stand up for a cause they believe in and fight for it. Um, it's often said that democracy is not a spectator sport, so we want these students to be players out there in the field um, working for a more democratic society. One of them said, geez, this is the first time, I've heard a lot about democracy, but this is the first time I actually felt like I was part of a democracy and an engaged part, making it work better. When they're putting their heads together in groups of two or three or four, and they're developing a spiel that they want to give to the legislator, they were into it. They were totally into it. So you could see that um, it was engaging them. It's a crash course in environmental issues. We, we spend a little time on environmental history, history of the environmental movement, mm -hmm. to place in context current issues like climate change, GMOs, uh, and, and other pressing issues like that of the day. So why are we having these environmental problems? Because if you don't know or don't have an idea or a framework to create a context for the issues, then your solutions or what you're going to do about them can be off the mark. Well, I think my role as a teacher or a professor, part of my role is to educate, but it's also in part to activate. So I like to think that I'm an activist academic, uh, trying to inspire people, whoever, whatever the age and all, to take a more active role and a more informed role, but also then translate that information into action. Our teaching is dominated by standardized testing. It's not focused on creating students who are taking an active role in being engaged citizens. This is not what's being churned out in high school. And it's not happening in college. If you want to be part of the academy, we're offering two academies. Uh, the first one is coming up soon at Amherst College from July 8th through 12th. The second one's at Smith College from July 22nd through the 26th. And the cost is $275 for the five days, but we have a sliding scale, so if you really can't afford it, don't let that stop you from it.
Um, it's a lot of fun. It's very, it's very engaging. And if you want to learn more about us, go to centerforenvironmentalcivics.org and you can get an application for the program, although you should do it right now. And, um, and you'll learn a lot more about what you do. And